Hello. Hello. Everyone. Good evening. How are you, everyone? How is everyone this night of Thursday? How do you feel today? Hey, good evening. Welcome. How are you guys? How is everything? Everything okay? Todo bien? Everything all right? Yes. yes, tomorrow is Friday. <laughs> tomorrow is Friday, right? We almost finish with the week. Almost finishing, finishing. Okay, remember yesterday, right? We were discussing about the yes, no questions. And we had them there. We formulated if it was affirmative, if it was the negative form. Any questions about that? The yes, no questions that we had? No, miss. No? No questions? Okay. Let's go ahead then on the next part. Remember that in the platform, you also have a, an exercise there about knowledge check. And it was in this part. In the example, well, only in the instruction, it says that you need to formulate a question. But in this question, you need to put them in order because they are in this order here. Now, it says here in the example, do you exercise every day? Yes, I exercise every day. What about number two? You only have the answer. You have the response. So what is the possible question here? You need to formulate it. Formulate the question. Put it in order. Do you every day exercise? Change it. Uh, no, this is this. This is this. Uh, this is the, the example. Ah. Uh, this is the example. Yes. Do you? But here, here, number two. What time do uh, you, do you eat lunch? Eat lunch. What time do you eat lunch, right? That, that lunch. was the correct form. That's all right. Uh, so there you have. Es que parece como al revés, ¿verdad? That's why it's confusing, uh -huh. right? Sí. You have the answer and then you have, yeah. What time do you have <laughs> lunch? And just here, uh -huh. remember, it's not necessary, like, you to include the question mark because you have the question mark here. Ya no va a incluir el, el símbolo de mi pregunta porque ya se lo da acá, la plataforma. <laughs> so you only put in order the words to formulate the question. And there you have the, the rest of the exercise. Now let's continue. Let's go on on another topic. We are going to practice here about or have some of the skills Skills, they are abilities. Abilities in predicting, scanning. Scanning means when you analyze a specific information that you need to know. So you concentrate on a specific information. And sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about a schedule. So we're going to see different routines, different actions that people do like every day right you do different actions for that we have different time expressions for example i get up at seven in the morning on weekdays remember weekdays are like monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday weekdays but the weekend and not every day because if not includes uh, saturday and sunday Weekdays? Uh, Todos los de semana. Fin de semana. Uh, weekends? Fin de semana. Lunes weekends? a viernes. Ajá, that is weekdays. Son los de semana. Uh -huh. De lunes a viernes. Pero si son uh -huh. fines de semana, ese es weekends. Weekends. Only Saturday and weekends. Sunday. Uh -huh. Then we have, I leave work. I leave work, that means I finish. Like, me voy del trabajo. Oh, right? no. I leave work early. In the afternoon on Thursday. Oh, no. So only on a specific days. Thursdays. I go to bed around 11 in the evening on weeknights. Weeknight. I get home late at night on weekends. 
I stay up until midnight on Fridays, a specific days, Fridays. I exercise before noon on Saturdays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. And we have expression of time, expressing clock time. Seven, that you can write in numbers, but also in letters. Seven o'clock, remember that is exactly at that time. 7 a.m. is equals to 7 in the morning. Or 7 p.m. is equals to 7 in the evening. Yeah, remember that 8 p.m. is night, right? Already at night. Do you have questions with these expressions of the time? O sea que podemos contestar de todas esas formas que aparecen ahí, Miss. Mm -hmm. These ones are expressions. Estas no necesariamente tienen que ser como respuestas, sino como simplemente cuando nosotros las incluimos en una rutina, en algo eh, cotidiano. Eh, ¿A qué hora yo me levanto? Right? In a conversation. Yes. All of these okay. ones are, are time expressions. And they are part of a routine. We have a video. We're going to watch it on the platform. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop. No problem? No problem. No? no okay. Problem. Thank you. No. Predicting, Great. scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading. What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So, when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns, website designer. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Maya Black, rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. In the video shows, the routine of three different persons, they have different professions, they have different occupation. In the one, investigate what's your schedule like. A schedule is like the routine that you have, like the program that you have every day or on a specific days too, or a specific period of the day. So what's your schedule? A schedule, what is that? What do you think is a schedule? Horario. That's a schedule. So what's your schedule like? Como es tu, tu horario, right? It's investigating that. So it says, a student reporter, Mike Start, talks to people on the street about their schedules. They have different programs, different routines. For example, Brittany Davis, a college student. Just to put emphasis, college is not colegio. College is, no significa colegio. It means uh, like a university, but uh, it's, for example, ITCA here in El Salvador, that they don't prepare the students like in the university. It's not like a licenciatura, but it's like a técnico. It's como para técnico. It's una carrera corta. That's college, college. Now, let's see here. Mike says, what's your schedule? Yes, tell me, Gideon. 
en la, en la traducción que da el, 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 en el video, dice universidad. Yes, but it's not like a, like an specific. They prepare you with, it's not like complete one. Es como para carreras más cortas. No siempre ah, es okay. para, para carreras como licenciaturas, como más largas. Como carreras técnicas, mismo. Ajá, like ITCA. Dos es años. ITCA. Mm -hmm. Dos años, tres años, como para técnicos. En university es more formal, right? Es como más formal. Las carreras son más completas. So that's in a college. So it says, Mike, what's your schedule like? In Britain, it says, my classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. So you see, she's very busy. Bien ocupada, right? She's very busy. So let's check here. In the example, Brittany Davids. The first activity that she does is that she gets up, right? She gets up. Look at that here. It says, what's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m. But the classes is not the activity number one. Because it says, so I get up. Así que. Me levanto, right? I, so I get up at seven and take the bus to school. So the first activity is that she gets up. That's number one. What is the second activity? She goes to class, right? Because she takes the bus, right? She goes, to, oh, sorry, we are here. She takes the bus. So after she takes the bus, she goes to the class. That's activity three. And number four, She works, right? Because after it says, your classes end, they end at noon. Then, then it means, luego, then I have a job at the library. So that will be number four. And the final activity is that she studies. Because here it says, so when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from eight until midnight. So that will be the Activity number five, part of the routine. Now let's check about Joshua Borns. And he's a website designer. Mike says, what's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at eight. Around one. I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. It's also a very busy person. Now let's check. Joshua Borns. What is the activity number one? D. D, right? Because he gets up. He needs to get up to start with the activity. That's good. That will be number one. What about activity number two? He has breakfast. Look, here it says, hey, I get up hey. at 6.30 a.m. and go for a hey. run. E. E, correct. Because it says, get e. up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this will be number two, correct. So that before, mm. antes, right? So what is number three? Say hi. Yes? A. A, correct. A. Because he has breakfast. That's great. Has breakfast. Number three. What about number four? Uh, Then he B. says, how do you go to work? B. I work at home. B. It B. starts work. Uh -huh. That's good. This will be number four. So his lunch is the activity number five. C. C. You have those ones. So he goes, right? He gets up. Then he goes for a run. He goes for a run. He has breakfast. 
he starts work and he eats lunch. He finished the routine there. Let's see about Maya Black and she's a rock musician. Let's see her routine. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. That playing means no play a game. Este play no se refiere a, a jugar un juego, sino de tocar un, un instrumento musical, porque ya se refiere que ella es, es una cantante de rock, right? O sea, es una música. I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. So she has a different schedule, a different routine. She starts the routine at night. So let's check Maya Black's activities. What's her first activity? She works at night, right? B. D. B. B. Mm -hmm. D. 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 Because she goes to work. Yes. She's the first thing. Because she says, I work at Me? night. I go to work oh. at 10. She starts the, the routine. Uh -huh. That's good. She goes to work. That's D. Activity number one. What about the second activity? A. B. A. 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 She has mm -hmm. dinner? She has dinner. Uh -huh. yeah. What do you do after work? Aha, uh -huh. has dinner because here, yes, you know. but mm -hmm. look, we need to analyze something here. She goes to work, so she needs to finish work, and yes, after she work, does. she eats dinner. She right? has dinner. She has the mm -hmm. dinner. Yes. So she needs to finish work, finish work. right? Sorry, at two. Uh -huh. So what do you do after work? Here it will be number two. Because she goes to work, right? Oh, she goes to work. Then the activity, she finish okay. work. Number, number two, uh, uh, C. She finish. Uh -huh. She finish work. Porque necesita terminar el trabajo para después de eso, uh -huh. cenar, ¿no? Uh -huh. What do you cenar. do after work? I have the, but it's yeah. after work, right? Yes. So, she has dinner. Three. Three. Uh -huh. That's three. number three. Mm -hmm. Correct. What about number four? Dinner. Number four. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then, that then it means luego, right? He goes home, teacher. She goes um, home. Yes, excellent. Um, because she takes a, she she takes a taxi, right? Uh -huh. She takes um, a taxi home. So that will be number four. And the last activity. She goes to bed. That would be number five. So they have a lot of activities, right? The routines that you can also express like that. Questions about it? No questions? In the platform, you have a similar exercise, right? Es que, es que como que la comprensión, ¿verdad, Miss? Ajá, you, need to, you need to analyze it and read it very well. Like, analizar qué va primero, qué hace después. Y también analizar... Es que iba diciendo qué es lo que hace primero y hace después. Ajá, como que antes, dice que... Ah, before, es por es un medio en medio de desordenada. Es medio de cronograma. And yes, you need to check and analyze. Because, for example, here, the connectors are very important. Los conectores son bien importantes. Por ejemplo, before and after. Dice, and go for a run before breakfast. Va a correr antes del desayuno. So we need to check the sequence, right? And analyze very well what is one, what is activity two, three. Confunden un poquito. It's a little confusing. But if you read it one more time, si no se comprende la primera, la puede leer de nuevo y de nuevo, y ahí se va comprendiendo mejor. Let's continue then. Let's erase this first. Okay. Now, we finish section one. We'll continue to section two. And the name of this section is, does it have a view? What is a view? What 
What is a view? Have you heard of a view? Good view. That view is, for example, when you go to El Mirador and Planes de Rendero, and you can observe, wow, you have a beautiful view. That is an action. But view, vista. Good view, a bad view. Beautiful view, una bella vista. But view, it means vista. Un panorama, right? Does it have a view? Do you remember what is the verb have? Have. What is have? Tener. Tener. So Tener. we use it for possession, right? So let's check here. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. So we're going to check. Tell me, what part of the house do you think this is? What part of the house? Kitchen. The, it's kitchen? the kitchen, right? Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. So this one is a kitchen. Do you consider that this kitchen is a small or big? Mm -hmm. Small. It's a small, right? Yes, because imagine four persons there. It's a small. They are like not sufficient space for them. Okay, we have a video. And this video is about vocabulary, house, and apartment. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments in your country? After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so the picture that you saw there on the video, it was about house and apartment. As we know, yeah. houses, they have different sizes, yes. uh, different quantities of bedrooms, yes. even bathrooms, also apartments, right? They have different spaces. So let's check. In the case of a it has the first floor or the second floor. Floor, that means el piso, el nivel, right? First floor, that means floor number one. Second floor, that's the floor number two. So let's see what, what does the first floor have? It has a dining room, kitchen, laundry room, stairs, living room, yard, then if there is a garage, right? That is dividing here. Now on the second floor, you have three bedrooms. And in the video also mentioned that every bedroom has a closet. So this bedroom has a closet, other bedroom, another closet, and the other bedroom, another closet. <laughs> I'm sorry. We have also the hall. 
the hall is like the space where you walk. So that is el pasillo, right? That's the hall. The stairs, what are the stairs? Gradas. Gradas. Ajá, las gradas, Good. las la escaleras, eh, las escaleras recordemos que son como cuando uno va a reparar algo, a subirse en algo, pero las gradas son las que ya están ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, para subir a, a, al otro nivel <coughs> o para bajar. We also have the bathroom. And we have the other case of the apartment. In the apartment, there's always a bathroom. You have also the bedroom the closet, dining room, kitchen, living room, elevator, because you need to go to another level to up or go down. And also we have the lobby. That's also part of the apartment. So we can see that the house has different rooms. In the case of room, is like this, right? Rooms. Rooms in means espacios. No siempre va a significar como dormitorio. Todo depende del complemento que lleve. Ahora si decimos dining room es el espacio del comedor. Living room, el espacio de la sala. Bedroom, what is bedroom? El espacio del baño. El espacio del... Bedroom, bedroom. El dormitorio. ¿Cuál, cuál, es el dormitorio de espacio para donde están las camas, right? All that. Bathroom. And the bathroom, that's correct. The space, right? Where you take a shower, right? So all of those. So rooms en general son espacios. Do you have questions? What about elevator? What's an elevator? Room dijo que eran espacios en sí, ¿verdad? Espacios en general. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Y se van eh, especificando de acuerdo a qué sí. espacio es. Living room, espacio de la sala. Tengo una y pregunta. No se traduce así. Yes, Pero si en la sala y en el comedor son espacios, ¿por qué cambian en dining y living? Because here, dining es el comedor. O sea, es el espacio, pero donde uno come, donde está ah, la mesa. room es el, el espacio. Room, solo en sí, room es espacio. Pero el, el espacio área. de qué, Ajá. el área de qué. Eh, para comer, mm. eh, donde tenemos la mesa. Eh, muchas veces en la misma área de la, de la cocina tenemos el, el dining room, ¿verdad? The same as, as space of the kitchen, you have the dining room. So it's like share, se comparte. You share the space. Yes. Elevator. Yo tengo una yes. Tell me. Tell me. Este, eh, ahí dice yard. Eh, se refiere a la parte de enfrente de la casa. Cuando es la parte trasera, así como el patio, por decirlo así, o sea, ¿cómo se traduce eso? ¿O es lo mismo? Mm, well, it's the same area. El área es la misma, solo que yard en general es patio. Es pero, patio. Uh -huh. ajá, pero si queremos especificar, este de acá sería front yard porque el pat es, está como el patio eh, de la parte frontal de la casa. Front yard. El que es bien común es escuchar backyard, pero porque el patio está en la parte trasera de la casa. Backyard. Sí, 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 porque eso, o sea, había escuchado en la mayoría de las personas que él le dicen backyard. backyard. Exactly, porque el patio lo tienen en la parte trasera de la casa, pero si lo tienen en parte de enfrente, así como es, aparece este de acá, entonces es front yard, pero en general es yard, it's a yard. Do you have a yard? Does your house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. So this is Thank general. You. You're very welcome. Any other question? I'm sorry. Who has a question? No? Okay. Now let's go ahead then to formulate some other questions. We have this one. Tell me here, what part of the house do you think this is? Bathroom. Bathroom. Bathroom, excellent, that's correct. Okay, now what about this part, the picture number three, this one, this number? 
Is that? The yard. The yard, right? The yard. The yard, yeah, that's correct. The yard. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about picture number five? Living room. Living room. It's the living room. You can see the sofa. <laughs> he has the telephone there. He's talking on the phone. Okay. Now let's practice here. We have some questions. What rooms are in your house? My house, my house has three bedrooms. Look at that here. Remember that as my house is one thing, is third person singular. For that reason, you need to use the verb have in the third person. Has. My house has three bedrooms, a living room, two bathrooms, it has a big kitchen, and a small garden. So, you are going to describe it. Emilia, tell me, what rooms are in your house? My house has... Mm, uh, one. One, one living room. One living room? Okay. Bedrooms? Yes. How many bedrooms? Bedrooms in three. Three bedrooms. Okay. What else? Bathrooms? Uh, one. One bathroom? Okay. One bathroom. One bathroom? And the kitchen? Uh, in one. Little, little kitchen. A small, a small a kitchen. Small, small a small kitchen. kitchen. And a garden? Do you have a garden? Um, no. No? Not by the moment? Okay, very good description. Thank you. That's good. Sandra Guadalupe, <laughs> you formulate the question to Blanca. Formulate the question. What rooms are in your house? Uh, what rooms are in your house? Thank you. Good. Blanca. My house. My house. house. My house six, has. Six, my six, house has. My house has. My good. Six bedrooms. Bedrooms. Six. Bedrooms. Dormitorios. Six bedrooms. Six bedrooms. Okay. Six. Very good. Uh, what else? Yeah. A living room. A living room. Uh, two. Two. Two uh, bedrooms. Or two, two living rooms. Room. Living room. Oh, two living rooms. Two, two living, living rooms. rooms. Very good. Uh, six bedrooms. Six bathrooms? Six bathrooms? Six bathrooms? Yes. Six bathrooms. Yes. Six bathrooms. Wow. Yes. That's a mansion. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, por cada habitación. Exactly. Eso les iba a mencionar. I was going to mention that. In every eh, eh. bedroom, you have a bathroom. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> That's nice. Eh, uh, it has a big it has. kitchen. kitchen. Oh, it has a, a big, big kitchen. kitchen. Uh -huh. um, uh, eh, ¿Qué es garden? Eh, jardín. Um, eh, ver. Eh, big. Pero A solo, big garden. Que, solo que queda arriba. Ah, ok. So it's on the second floor. Se uh -huh. En el segundo nivel. Tercer nivel. On the third one. So it's on the third, third floor. On the third, third floor. floor. Ok, on that's the, good. That's on, nice. A garden on the third floor. All right, that's good. Nice yes. one. Good. Nevi, yes. thank you, Blanca. And thank you, Sandra. That's good. Nevi, you formulate the question to Rebecca Vanessa. Rebecca, what room are, are in your house? Nice. What room what are rooms? in your house? Rooms. My rooms. house nice. has three bedrooms, uh, one living room, one bathroom, a, a big kitchen, and a big garden. Very good job. Thank you. Nice. Judy, you formulate the question to Fernando. Fernando, what rooms are in your house? Nice. Me podría repetir, por favor. Can you repeat, please? What room are rooms? in your house? Nice. Rooms. Rooms. Room. Nice. Thank you, Judy. My house has four bedrooms. Four bedrooms. Very good. Uh, two living rooms. 
To live in rooms, plural, es. Uh, to bathroom. To bathrooms. Uh, it, uh, it has it, a big kitchen. That's good. Y no tengo jardín, teacher. Okay, and I don't have a garden. I don't have, have a garden. A garden. Very good, Fernando. Very good job, guys. Thank you. Okay. Now, notice here that you have this question, right? Like to describe your house. What does your house have or contains? And we have other question. It says, what rooms are in houses in El Salvador? It depends, right? Only depends on the area that you live because, for example, in the city here in San Salvador, the houses tend to be like a small, it depending on the area, right? All it depends. What rooms are uh, in apartments in El Salvador? What rooms? In a specific, the room. Well, normally, we need a bathroom, right? We need a bathroom. What else? Bathrooms are always necessary. Kitchen is always necessary. What else? Any other room? What bedroom? Bedrooms? Aha, uh -huh. bedrooms are uh -huh. necessary. What else? Gardens? Living, Living room? Garden, no. Are a garden in an apartment? No, right. That no. is not normal in an apartment, but in houses, yes. Or a backyard. No. The laundry. Bueno, yes. si, si lo tiene así como en la ventana, su jardincito, mis. It's true. Pero me imagino que ahí si lo habla yes. como terreno, ¿verdad? It's like a land. Ajá, uh -huh, correct. It's a small portion of land. So How it, do you say huerta in English? It's a, a land or vegetable land. land. Vegetable land. Miss, so yes, it's true. You may, yes. Ahorita que estamos hablando de, los, de las casas, hay una expresión, el porch. ¿Qué es? Oh, the porch. The porch is el porche. But uh, look, this one is like the front part of the house. Es como la parte frontal de la casa, pero normalmente no, no termina. Carros. No, that, no. Is the, that is the garage. Como, lo que comúnmente aquí conocemos como corredor. Yes, it can be. Sí, a veces se saca como, bueno, hay como unas cabañas. ¿Se han fijado que a veces en las películas sacan como unas cabañas? En las casas de generalmente que son de madera. No termina la casa como, digamos, solo pared y, y sigue el terreno para la salida, sino que está como un espacio donde la gente pone eh, sus sillas y hay como un pasamano, como le llamamos acá, hay como un pasamano, y, pero está enchechado. Antes de la puerta es principal. Es un porch, antes Así. de la puerta principal, es antes de, de, de entrar, correcto. Muy bien. Es como pasillo, Es como un medio ¿no? patio, es digamos. Es como un medio patio. Patio, la... pero no necesariamente pero no lleva plata ajá ajá en the United States they have they have that como una salita de estar pero como de la, la salida como un corredor a veces ajá no, exacto le llamamos como un como un corredor le llamamos está antes de la de la puerta principal so that is the the porch the porch the porch Okay, let's go ahead with the yes, no questions. Well, we know that yes, no questions. We have the structure, do or does. It depends on the subject. Then the verb in the base form. Object is the complement. And you have the question mark because you interrogate something. Now, let's see some other examples. Simple present, short answers. Remember, we practiced this one, right? It says, do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. So these ones are simple questions, simple answers. Do the bathrooms have windows? Yes, they do, or no, they don't. These ones are with the auxiliary do, because my subject is you. You are also they, but also we have another subject, right? What is the other subject? What subjects do we use with the auxiliary do? We. Oui. Ah, that's good. So we use you, we, and they. Now here, what is the subject? 
And the example two, do the bedrooms have windows? What is the subject? The bedrooms. The bedrooms, the bedroom. right? And this is singular or plural? Plural. Plural. It's plural. plural, excellent. For that reason is that you use they. Remember they? they. Is not especially for persons. They is in general when you talk about things, animals, places, persons in general, but it's plural. In the negative, you say no, they don't. In the third person, what are the third person singular pronouns, Rafael? What are the three subjects in third person singular? <clears throat> Perdón. Uh, what are the three subjects in third person singular? Singular. Mm -hmm. He. He. Uh -huh. He, she, it. That is correct. Thank you. He, she, it. It's third person singular. So, what is the auxiliary? That's. Does. Correct. For example, does Chris live in a house? What is the subject? Chris. Chris, right? Excellent. What is the form of the verb? Is it with S or base form? Base form. Base form. Uh -huh. Why base form? Because you have auxiliary. So you don't need the verb with the S form. You don't say, does Chris lives in a house? No. Incorrect. The auxiliary helps the verb and transforms in the third person form. So in the affirmative, yes, he does. So you finish in the auxiliary for a short answer. If it's negative, you say, no, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. Negative? No, it doesn't. So we have these questions, but they only contain affirmative or the negative. So you don't need to give like more information of this. They are limited, limited questions here. Questions about this? Es yard. Which one? Es yard. Judge or, or yard? Yard. This you, patio. Uh, you mean this one? Let me check. I need to, to confirm to be sure. This one? Sí. Yes, patio. Ah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's a yard. Welcome. Okay, then let's go ahead here with an exercise. I got this one here. We're going to complete it, which contains different questions. But they are to confirm affirmative or the negative or you formulate the question. For example, it says, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. 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 Excellent. That is a short answer. So you just need to include the contraction form. Don't. Then gives more information. I live in a I live, right? Live. I live. live in a house because the question said do you live in an apartment no i don't i live in a house live then continues with linda and this one is a question too what will be the question does does excellent because my subject is it all right does it what else have. Have. have have perfect that's good you need to conjugate the verb have does it have a yard yes it does does perfect short answer with the third person that sounds nice this is a question do do perfect do. great do you live Live. live. Excellent. That's correct. Do you live alone? No, I don't. No, I don't. Perfect. No, I don't. What is next? 
I live with my family. I live with I live. my family because he's saying, no, I don't. I don't live alone. I live with my family. What is next? This one is a question too. Do you do, have? Do, uh -huh. do you? Have. 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 Excellent. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, I do. So my bird <laughs> here is? Have. It's very easy, right? It's not complicated here. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. What is next? Uh, More I information. Have, I, have, I have four sisters. What is next? That's a big family. Another question. Do, 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 do you? Do you? Uh, do you have? Yes, you have. perfect. Do you have? Do you have a big house? Yes, we? Do. We do, perfect. What else? More information. Has. Thanks. Has. It has, right? Yeah, that's uh, good. It has 10 rooms. It has 10 rooms. 10 rooms? Does, now is that another does, question? That's correct. Does, does it? Have. have. Does it have, right? Good. Does it have many bedrooms? Yes, it? It does. It does. It does. It Perfect. Does. That's nice. What is next? It has. Four. It has. It has. Third person. It has. It has four. What's the next? It's do. a question. Do. That's do you. right. Do you. Do you has. Do you? Has have has. because it's have. you you uh -huh. have. do you do you have your own bedroom? Tienes tu propio dormitorio? Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Perfect. Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. That's good. Okay. We got this exercise. Very simple, right? So it's not complicated. It's just a matter of analyze, right? And also depends on the subject that you need to use. Questions? No questions. No questions? How do you okay. say? Lucky? I'm sorry? How do you say? How do you say lucky? Lucky, afortunado. I'm really lucky. Soy realmente afortunado. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. We have another video, guys, which we are going to watch. Let's first erase this. Hello. Hello. Sorry, sorry. Hello. We didn't pass it right. My God, the time flies. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, we're going to pass it and let me know if you are present, please. Okay. Aaron. Present. Aaron Alberto, thank you so much. Alba Marisol. Present. Thank you. Blanca Rosa. Present. Thank you. Elmer, yes, I saw it. <laughs> uh, we have Elmer. Elmer de Nilsson. Present. Thank you so much. Evelyn Yesenia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Fernando de Jesus. Thank you. Glenda Guadalupe. 
present. Thank you, Glenda. Juan Alberto. Juan Alberto. Kenia Vanessa. Present, Miss. Thank you. Kevin Adrián. Kevin Adrián. María Emilia. Present, Miss. Thank you. Melba Patricia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Melba. Nevi Solina. Present, Miss. Thank you, Nevi. Rafael Antonio. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Miss, una, una situación. El día de ayer no me pude conectar a la clase. Es, en la plataforma escribí un mensaje que no me podía conectar porque sube en un servicio um, eh, religioso. Ajá, ok. Eh, yes, ahora en I... el transcurso del día me metí a la plataforma y pude observar toda el, el, la clase del de, día de ayer. Ok, you watch the video then. Cu sí. Cuando sea así, si gusta, este, avísele también a los encargados en el grupo, porque como eh, ellos piden como el 100% de asistencia y si necesitan sí. algún permiso, eh, notifíquelos, porque a, a nosotros en sí no nos, o sea, no, no, no nos avalan, ¿verdad? De, ah, sí, okay. eh, les apruebo el permiso, sino que es con ellos. De acuerdo. Uh -huh. Para que ellos sepan, ¿verdad? Que, que tiene ese respaldo, ¿verdad? Y sepan que usted tuvo esa actividad. Ok. Uh -huh. Thanks. Thank you, Rafael. Thank you. Rebeca. Rebeca Vanessa. Present. Thank you, Rebeca. Sandra Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Thank you. Sandra Margarita. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Marioris. Jacqueline. Judy Edit. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you very much. Como nos distrajimos hablando ahí de las casas, ¿verdad? Qué emoción. <laughs> pues sí. yes. Verdad que, verdad que hasta verdad que hasta este viernes es de, 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 de terminar las tareas del segundo. Ajá, de section two. Traten de avanzar mm. lo más que ustedes puedan. Porque eso es lo que, lo que pide Insafor, ¿verdad? Traten de avanzar. Si encuentran un ejercicio en lo que sienten que, que no pueden eh, seguir más, pues entonces vamos a, vamos a ver cómo lo trabajamos, ¿verdad? Si Miss, lo pueden seguir mañana. Yes, tell me. Yo no puedo entrar a la plataforma ahora. Fíjense que unas compañeras mandaron el enlace. Ajá. Pero ni solamente me aparece el módulo anterior. De ahí para allá no puedo pasar. Este, okay. este, solo este, una cosa, Nevi. Este, a mí así me pasa, pero me voy a mi perfil y ahí dice, re, re, este, ahí le dice que puede retomar la clase, este, ¿cómo se llama? Anterior. El, tomar el curso, creo que es. Eso, entonces ahí le parece sí, como continuarlo. Ahí le da continuar, ajá. Porque Pere, le aparecen dos vayan, partes. Pere. Continu le aparece como continuar, continuar con el curso. Donde está su, su no sé si subió foto. En perfil. Entonces, ajá, en perfil, ahí le pueda. Porque me pasa lo mismo cuando me meto, me tira al primer módulo. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Tiene que darle continuar curso, porque si no hay que informarle también a, a, a los asesores, porque puede estar eh, ocurriendo también a, a algún problema. No, no, me da mis... no le funciona. No. Ah, pues hay que informarlo. Si Porque gusta... dice perfil completo, me da todo el Ajá. perfil y explorar cur cursos nuevos, me dice nada más. Mm, Ajá, le tendría que aparecer ahí el curso. Uh -huh. sí. Y no me da. No le aparece. No. Si gusta, ponga esa información ahí en el, en el grupo para que lo puedan ver los asesores. Ay, Igual usted. ya lo puso, ¿verdad? Ah, entonces yo directamente también le voy a poner el mensaje. Muy para bien. ver qué, qué solución le, le pueden dar ahí. Thank you, Miss. ¿Cuál es el caso? Ok, thank you. Now, let's watch the video then. This class you learn how to respond no to. No problem, right? Yes or no? No problem with no, the video? No? Ok. No question. In the no. simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. 
This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Let's look at the question, do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. When responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns I, you, we, and they, do, or don't. For the pronouns he, she, and it does or doesn't. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, plural, we're going to use the pronoun they and the auxiliary do or don't. So the answer can be positive by saying, yes, they do. Or negative by saying, no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular, and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying yes he does or negative by saying no he doesn't. Now it's your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and co-workers and make short answers as well. Whenever you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, we saw the video there and the yes, no questions. Now let's practice. We're going to ask questions like this. Let's see, Sandra Guadalupe. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. Excellent. That's good. Okay, now let's formulate another question. You're going to formulate this question like this. Formulate this okay. question and you ask Alba Marisol. Okay. Do the bedroom bedrooms have bedrooms have windows? Nice. Alba? Yes. They do. They do. Excellent. That's good. Nevi, you are going to formulate the question to Rebecca Vanessa. Continue with the third person. And here you can ask uh, like an, a specific person, a specific classmate. For example, if you ask, does Maria Emilia live in a house or in an apartment? Third person, ask. Pero me dijo para, para Kenia Vanessa, ¿verdad? Aha, uh -huh, correct, yes. Direct questions, 
to Rebecca Vanessa. Muy bien. Interperson. Does Kenya uh -huh. living okay. in life, not live, live? Uh -huh. in a house? Excellent. That's good. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Very good. Glenda, you formulate the questions to Aaron. Yes? Glenda? Glenda, are you present? Yes, okay, okay. Yeah, does, Formulate this question. Does the house have a yard? Good, repeat it please. Does the house? Does the house have a yard? Very good, thank you. Aaron, are you present? Can you listen to us? No? Evelyn? Evelyn Jesenia? Yes, it's your tell yes. me. Okay. The answer, please. Can you give us the answer? The question was, does the house have a yard? My house, teacher. Uh huh. Yes, your house. Okay. Uh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. That's correct because this one is affirmative case. That's okay. all right. Good one. Rafael, you formulate the question to Elmer. Now you select the question, the question that you prefer. Okay. Uh, do you live? Do you live in an apartment? Do you live? Do you live in an apartment? In an apartment? apartment. Very good. Thanks, Elmer. Elmer, are you present? No. Santa Margarita. Yes. Yes. You answer the question, please. Do you live in an apartment? Do you live in an apartment? The answer. The answer. Oh, sorry. No, I don't. No, I don't. Very good. All right. Good one. Questions. Do you have questions? No. No? Okay. We are going to continue then with the practice on Monday. Remember tomorrow, okay. no classes, right? No classes okay, tomorrow, okay. but okay. on Monday. And I'll send you more exercise. Le voy a estar enviando más ejercicios para reforzar. Ah, pude contestar el otro. Lo pude contestar. Yes, you could it. Okay, very sí. good. That's nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> very good job. All right, guys. Then see you on Monday. And okay. happy yes. weekend. Okay, miss. Happy Enjoy. weekend. Thank you. Relax. And you. Right. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Yes. Have a Thank good you, night. Goodbye. Thank Bye. you very Bye. much. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. dreams. Stream. Stream. <laughs> Dream with the angels. See you Monday. I'll see you on Monday. Take care. Later. Goodbye. Happy weekend. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care.